Hey there beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and on this channel I talk about all things beautiful, especially fragrances. Whether this is your first time watching or you are returning, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. I'm super excited about today's video because I have a collective haul that I'm going to be sharing with you guys and I am going to be giving you my thoughts on Ambrosia Imperial, which is a perfume that was done in collaboration with AI the Great and Navitas Perfumes. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, or you just wanna hang with moi, then keep on watching. Before we get into the video, guys, I always do an affirmation, and today's affirmation is, it is never too late to inspire change. No matter how old you are or where you are in life, you can always inspire change to those around you and you can also change yourself. It's never too late. Now on to the video. So you guys get something to drink, chill, hang with me. We're going to be talking about new fragrances. We're going to be talking about Ambrosia Imperial. What do I think? Do I like it? Did I hate it? What is going on with this fragrance? Okay. So real quick, I am going to tell you guys why I purchased this fragrance because I know that some people may think this is a hyped up fragrance and I got on the hype train and yes, this fragrance is hyped up, but that's not why I purchased it. I have been watching AI for about two years maybe and um, I think she had maybe 5,000 subscribers and I really liked her vibe. I love her channel and um, she has really great content about luxury, beauty, lifestyle. I was introduced deeply into niche fragrances by watching her channel and I learned a lot. Like that was my foundation into niche fragrances really was from her channel. When she does her premieres, she's always on there live and you can chat with her. We have fun in the chat. And I've learned that I cannot work successfully and chat is not going to happen. So I had to stop doing that. But um, I, she has an amazing channel. And don't let her bring Bay on there, a.k.a. Malik. Because when he starts talking, he gives that OG, triple OG advice. And I always enjoy it's hearing really enjoyable to watch her channel. And so when she announced that she was going to have her own fragrance, I'm like, what? Yes, I am here for it because I support those that I watch. And I was super excited about it. I felt confident that if she had a fragrance, I was going to like it because I pretty much like everything she recommends. But I love you. I love her content and I wanted to support her. So here we are. Here is the packaging. It came in packaged like this in this beautiful box, you guys. Do you see how beautiful this box is? The packaging alone is just amazing. And I didn't expect anything less from her. If you watch her channel, you know she presents herself well. And this is no exception. This is a reflection of her and how she presents herself. This is the inside of the box. And I just refuse to throw this away. It feels like this leather-like material. I need to find a use for this box because I don't want to throw it out. Okay, and then here is the bottle. Isn't this gorgeous? If you don't like the fragrance, at least you can say the packaging is beautiful. It comes in this goldish type bottle with this gold top and the juice goes with the bottle. Now the notes for this fragrance, according to the website, it has top notes of banana, and I think it's supposed to be like banana foster, which I've never had. Rum, Brazilian orange, sea loam, cinnamon, hopefully I'm saying that right, and Davana. In the middle, we have dates, orchid, jasmine, and amberwood. And then in the base, there's some caramel, vanilla, whipped cream, benzoin, musk, and saffron. So you guys, when I first got this fragrance, I was super excited and I was going to lunch with my friends and I already knew like, this is what I'm going to wear. And I sprayed it and the first thing I smelled was banana and big red gum. 
and not like candy banana, but like banana from banana uh, nut bread. Nut bread. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. The cinnamon was so strong and the banana cinnamon combo was throwing me off. And then I started smelling something sweet, but kind of green. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this fragrance, but I know how I am when I smell fragrances sometimes. So I said, let's see, you know, it was too late. I had sprayed it on. I'm not the most punctual person in the world. That was the fragrance. So the whole time I'm driving, I'm sniffing myself. I'm at lunch, I'm sniffing myself. And as it started to dry down, I started to enjoy it better. It was um, sweet and it's kind of light and it got musky. And when the muskiness started to kick in, I was like, okay, this is something that I can, I can probably work with, but I wasn't super excited about it. I was a little upset because I didn't know what I had gotten myself into with this fragrance. It is a very unique fragrance and I don't think that not everybody will get it. So day two, I wear it to work and I didn't mention too, and I think this is important, but when I first wore it, it was like 59 degrees. I wore it the next day and it was warmer outside and that day I liked it better. I wasn't that fond of the opening, but for me, the fragrance in the dry down was better. It's very aromatic, it's very light, and it gets very clean and musky and sweet. It's kind of gourmand and yummy, but not like heavy gourmand for the winter time. This is more of a summer gourmand. But as I was wearing it at work, I had more chance to move around, walk around with the fragrance, get to know it a little better, I started to like it better and I got a compliment on it. It's like, very good, what is this? My daughter also smelled it and she said, oh, this smells classy, what is that? So, you know, it is a compliment getter, it's very different. I said, okay, compliment or not, I like it, but I'm not loving it, it's okay. So I put it up and I had worn it for a while. I watch Keiko Beauty here on YouTube, guys, and the way she loves this fragrance, it's like, oh my gosh, what am I missing? I wanted to wear it again, and I decided to wear it again today, and it's like 89 degrees out here. So when I sprayed it today, please forgive me, I do not mean to offend anybody, I promise you, but when I sprayed it today, I said, oh shit. <laughs> what the what what the what it smelled different it smelled better i was like oh wait a minute is this the same perfume that i was wearing the other days where i liked it and it was just okay did this somebody switch the juice because today y'all is it, it smelled like a different fragrance i still smelled the banana but today i smelled the rum and it smells so fresh and clean and sweet and yummy, but not like chocolate queen yummy. It's not that heavy gourmand, but it is, in my opinion, a gourmand scent. And I just actually really enjoyed it today. I was feeling myself today. Now I know why Keiko is like, dousing herself in this fragrance saying she gonna get married with this because today it smelled wonderful absolutely wonderful and i'm like okay what y'all doing with this fragrance because y'all playing tricks on me but i think that for me this is better in warmer weather it's absolutely unique and gorgeous and correct me if i'm wrong ai if you're watching hey girl hey I think maybe she wanted this to be unique and mass appealing, not mass appealing. This is not something that everybody is going to like. It's not. I think that you have to give it a chance and play around with it and then make your decision from there. If you know, you know, you're going to like it. This is this fragrance. Fragrances like these are the reason why I like 
perfume. If you guys watch my channel, you know I'm more into like the fufu la la fragrances, as she calls it, where um, they're just, you get it right off the bat. They're feminine, they're mass appealing, most fragrances. Those are kind of fragrances I gravitate towards, but I'm trying to expand my palette, if you will, and explore different fragrances. This is different. When you are out in public, I promise there is no one that's going to smell like you. Absolutely no one. You are going to smell unique. You're going to smell different and you're going to smell very good. And I'm like, okay, what happened here? Because I am actually loving this fragrance. It has really good longevity. When I sprayed this the other times I wore it and I could smell it now, I've had it on since this morning. It lasts all day. This is not a fragrance that's going to announce your presence as you walk into the room, hear ye, hear ye. It's not that type of fragrance. But as a person comes closer to you, not skin scent, not by any means, but if they come closer to you, they will be able to smell you. It is something that carries in the wind. I went to get my lunch. The wind was blowing. I smelled it in the breeze. So I feel like it might have a good sillage as you walk past, you know? I'm really enjoying this fragrance. I am so happy I have it. This kind of took me on a journey like Yum Pistachio. You guys know if you watch my channel, I didn't care for that fragrance, but as I wore it, I began to appreciate it and like it more. The same with Sunset Hour. I liked it at first, but I didn't love it. But as I got to wear it and know it, I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. What was wrong with you? This smells really good. I'm so happy I have it. AI, you did your thing with this. It is very different and unique. And oh man, I really love this fragrance. It smells a little boozy through the bottle. Like I smell the rum more through the bottle than I do on my skin. It's really, really nice. I am so happy I have it. If you guys have it, please comment down below. And let me know what you think that you like this right away. Was this something that took you on a journey and you had to warm up to it? Let me know. This is gorgeous. Now, on to the next fragrance that I have. And this is True Sardis Pure Jasmine. This is a fragrance I've only had an opportunity to wear it once, but it kind of gives me this animalic vibe. It's sweet. Um, of course it has jasmine in it it's nice it's not a loud fragrance to me i feel like i can wear this to work i work in a hospital and nobody's going to be mad or say anything i need to wear some more but this is uh so far this is really nice i like the packaging too i brought this because of lulu hey girl hey if you're watching and sunny and the way they talked about it i felt like i needed it i got it from jomo shop for under fifty dollars so far, so good. True Sardis, pure jasmine. Next, you guys, I did an unboxing on this. I'm trying to do more unboxings. And this was inspired by Veronica Says here on YouTube. The way that she described this fragrance, I felt like I needed it. And then I saw it on Jomo Shop. Somebody help me with Jomo Shop. It was like this really good price. And I felt like I had... To get it and y'all veronica has a link to jomo shop like an affiliate link that i will link down below so you guys if you purchase use her link this is tuberose love tuberose by amawash and we appreciate the gorgeousness of this bottle i like me i like magnetic tops i play with those and this one guys heavy on the white florals in the opening jasmine tuberose gardenia it was like whoa i don't know if i'm gonna like this this was really in my face when i first sprayed it but as it calmed down it turned into this creamy beautiful sweet fragrance that i just absolutely adore absolutely love it it is so beautiful I feel like I could wear this all year round, really, if I wanted to. It is very nice. So happy I have it. 
I'm a wash, love tuber roll. So the next fragrance I have, you guys, is Hufflepuff House of Siage. You guys, I stalked their website because I was determined to get this for half off. I was determined. I watched Cherry's TV here on YouTube, and she just kept talking about how great this fragrance was. And I think someone else talked about it, too. And I just was like, I need it. But let me tell y'all the real reason. This is how petty I am. My children are in love with Harry Potter. At least half of them are. They go beyond being fans. One of them has a robe. They all have wands. They know which house they belong to. I know which house I belong to because of them, which is Hufflepuff. They have seen the movies. I don't know how many times they have read all the books. They have been to trivia events with Harry Potter. They love Harry Potter. So I just, I wanted it to have it in my collection because I felt like it was going to smell good when I saw the notes. And I also wanted to brag. That's just how petty I am. I wanted to brag. And when I got it, I took a picture and sent it to them in our group chat. Like, look at what I got. So, you guys, this one is really sweet. It smells like a, to me, it smells like a, a cream puff. A sweet cream puff with a little fruit in it. Or like some type of dream sickle or something. Creamy. A little creamy, not a lot, just a little bit. But I like the fragrance so far. I'm not head over heels in love with it. I have to wear it some more, but I have my Hufflepuff and I have all the bragging rights now with my kids because they don't have the fragrance from their house. Yes, I'm petty. Okay, the next fragrance, you guys, I had to get a full bottle. You know, if you know, you know. This is Blanche Bet by Liquid Imagineers. This, guys, reminds me of um, that rice drink. It starts with an A, the Mexican one. I can't think right now, um, but it reminds me of that a lot. It's sweet. It smells like coconut. They said there's no coconut in there. At least it's not listed, but we know. Y'all just not telling us because too many people are saying this. It has to be true. It also smells like that um, Methods body wash, the rice one. I can't think. I don't know why I can't think. Maybe because it's late. But it reminds me of that body wash as well. But this is such a beautiful, creamy, milky, sweet fragrance. I wore this to my friend's bridal shower and she said I smelled absolutely delicious. She wanted to know what I was wearing. She reminded me again today, like, I need to know what you were wearing. It was this. We all know that this is gorgeous, most of us. Um, it's a beautiful scent. I have a full bottle now. Thanks to Jomo Shop. I need to stay off that website. Somebody pray for me. Okay. So I have two more fragrances. One I don't actually have in my possession because of FedEx, and I am so sick and tired of FedEx, guys. If you get deliveries from FedEx, comment down below if you think they are the worst. They are the worst. I was here all day at home. I left a big note for them on the apartment door, like the entry to the building, telling them what to do. They did not do it. They left a note on there, those little slips they leave, saying they tried. And that was it. They didn't even write first attempt. We're going to be back. Nothing. I called and complained. And thank goodness I didn't let them have it like I wanted to. I'm sorry about that rant. But you guys, I'm so irritated. But anyway, I ordered Passe Soir from So Online Guard. And they use FedEx. And you have to sign for your package. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to order from them anymore. Not because of the prices. But they use FedEx, and I just, I have never had a good experience with them. Never. It is always an issue. So I do have that. Hopefully, it'll be here tomorrow. But the last one that I have in my possession, you guys, Jomo Shop does it again. Delena La Rose. Y'all know 
They just had that sale, 45% off. And I have been wanting this fragrance for so long, but I refuse to pay what it costs. I just refuse. I am going to my friend's wedding Saturday and I plan on wearing this and I am confident that I'm going to smell good. That's how confident I am. I just feel like this is going to be wonderful for that occasion. So this is what I have. Okay, you guys, so there is my haul. Also, I did pick up Prada, Paradox, and Sunset Hour, but I didn't really go into too much detail with that. You guys know I am just in love with Sunset Hour, and Prada Paradox is a beautiful scent as well. I think it's a, it's one of the best easy reach, grab and go fragrances ever made. Like. If you don't want to think too much about what you're going to wear, you want to smell good, pick that up and keep it moving because you're going to smell good all day. It's an amazing scent. It's bright. It's sweet. It has some neroli and pear in it. It's just beautiful. It's a great scent. So yeah, those are the fragrances I have. Please let me know what you guys think about these fragrances. Do you have any of these fragrances? Do you think they're great? Do you want to get any of these fragrances? Let's talk about it in the comments below. And until we meet again, guys, remember how blessed you are blessed and highly favored. Stay safe. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.